wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who's been watching me since day one. I'm like, what's up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Gracious Diggers, and I'm coming at you. I'm coming at you with a brand new video. What up? Today, I'm coming at you with another collaboration with a YouTuber. I am Emmanuel, aka Kofi, straight, Kofi, straight up from GH Ghana. In case y'all don't know, I represent Cameroon and Ivory Coast, you know, West Africa, always. <laughs> Whether you're an African or a friend of an African, you guys know that beneath that beautiful chest of yours, you're about to relate. You're about to relate to what I'm about to say. One thing we can all relate when it comes to growing up in an African home is the fact that you cannot talk back. If they ask you a question and you answer that question, it counts as talking back. So for example, your mom is really mad and she's talking to you and you try to reply. She will hit you with that line. Oh, so now you're talking back to me. You're talking back to your mother. You have not grown wings, huh? Okay. I didn't kill my mother, so you will not kill me. <laughs> Next thing you know. Do not call any elderly person by their first name. No, no. You either call them aunt or uncle, whether you know them or you do not. It is aunt or uncle. Elves. Elves. Hey, what's up, George? Jesu! Did I just hear you call me by my first name? So you don't have respect for the for the elderly anymore. Huh? I supposed to hear of this. Cheneke, this boy is finished, though. Your parents will hear about this. They must hear about this. Funka! You need to get that weapon. Jesus is Lord! Growing up in an African home means asking for money is a struggle. Because like, every time I ask my mom money, she'll hit me with that line. Why don't you have money? Why are you always asking me money? Like, how am I supposed to have money if you don't give me money? And then when I try to talk back, this happens. But African parents are really impatient and they don't like to wait. But what annoys me the most is when they slap you without warning you. Another one is sleeping over. Now, this is a huge deal when it comes to an African home, okay? You cannot go for a sleepover. Hey, mom, so I asked Michael if I can come for a sleepover at his house this evening. Is it okay to go? You're telling me sleepover. Sleepover for what reason? What don't you like about this house? What don't you have in this house that you have at Michael's house? Once you start walking in an African home, you are considered as a dishwasher. I don't know about your homes, but then in my house, I'm not gonna say in my house, but in my parents' house, once I started walking, I was the one washing the dishes every single day, despite the fact that we had a maid. Don't you have a bed? Don't we cook food for you to eat? Don't you get transportation to wherever you want to go? So why can't Michael come over to sleep over here in this house? In an African home, dating do not exist. The only thing that exists is getting married, that's it. You're not allowed to say, oh, daddy, I have a boyfriend. What is boyfriend? Next thing you know, you get a free slap. As a matter of fact, I want you to go upstairs and get a book and read. Because until you become a doctor, you are not going for any sleepover. Growing up in an African home, what I was always amazed was how my parents used to brag about them being so smart but then once i ask them to help me with my homework suddenly they have headaches suddenly they need to sleep you know i'm like okay until you become a lawyer you are not going for any sleepover my son get out of my face by the count of one better Everything my parents did to me, I'm gonna do the same thing to my child. I'm not gonna lie. I am going to call them a dishwasher. I am going to say that when I was little, I was really smart. Even if, yeah, I was smart. So thank you guys for watching. It was your girl, Graciously Great. And I'll catch you next time. I'll catch you next time on a brand new video. Now remember, you haven't been gracious enough until you have thumbs up and subscribe. So don't forget to show some love because you need that beautiful chest of yours. You want me to succeed? <laughs> so I count on you guys to click on part two of this video and don't forget to show some love there too. Bye!